Not a very good paint shaker. Hey guys, Matt from Laser Everything here today to make a special project with my daughter for Valentine's Day. So tell us about what we're making. We're making a Valentine box for my class and myself because we're gonna have Valentine's Day soon on the 14th, duh. And we're gonna make it so you don't have to carry all of it and then we're going to leave school. We have to like drop everything. It's like, oh no. So we're making a Valentine's Day box for cards. So she's gonna help me laser design this, laser cut this, and then laser engrave this. And it should just be a fun, cool project to help her out with. All right, here we go. All right guys, so here we are inside of boxes.py. Just to kind of show you that really quickly, it's festi.info forward slash boxes.py. And when you enter that, it's going to take you to this page right here. And it's a really, really great website. And so by clicking on this, it'll take you to all of the different types of boxes. This is the index, anything with whole patterns, wall mounted stuff, shelves. They've got some really great stuff and we're gonna see a few more videos from us in the future here. So let's show you what we're making for my daughter's class. So we're doing a box, but it needs to be something that can really open easily. So going through these, what's really nice is they even have pictures to show you. So there's all kinds of different things you can make. And when going through for my daughter, who's in the second grade to open it really easily we thought a display case would be the best solution and so if you look you have your length and width and your height you've got the measurements at the outside treat size is an outside measurement and then there's even overhang for joints and millimeters so that's pretty cool the default settings again we're going to be using 1 8 material which is 3.18 millimeters thick we want it to create a light burn but just to show you guys it does come out as DXF G code, PDF, and SVG, but Lightburn is what's really sweet for us. Taking a look, we can add a QR code if we wanted to. We can print surrounding boxes for structures. When we come to the inner corners, I'm just gonna do a corner, nothing fancy. And basically what we will do at this point, if we're happy with this, is we would hit generate or download. But just to make sure, since this is for Valentine's Day gifts from students, we want to make this about probably 8 inches by 12 inches, because think about a piece of paper is 8.5 by 11, so if the kids fold it in half, we'll make it about 8 inches by 11.5 inches. So let's say wide, we want it 8 inches, which would be about 200 millimeters, about, a little bit off but that's fine then the height of it or the the y distance we want to be about 300 so that's 8 inches by 12 inches and then as far as height goes uh, just to be safe because kids do put like goodie bags and all kinds of stuff in there we're gonna make this 150 so we'll make it six inches tall for depth and so that way if a kid brings like some kind of a gift they can just put it into the box and there should be plenty of room so we got the display case settings down we changed the thickness we created the format in light burn and we also made sure the inner corners are just a straight up corner and it should come out looking something like this. So this is a display case style. And so this is really easy for my daughter to snap together and snap apart, should be pretty easy. She only is going to take the top off so teacher could help her do that. And then the settings for finger joints, you can take a look here. I'm just gonna leave them the same so you guys should be able to see how it comes out without really anything. So at this point, I'm gonna click download. It is generating a file from scratch so it might take upwards of 30 seconds to a minute. And if it doesn't generate one quickly, you could hit download one more time. Could just be something, we got the spinning wheel now up here. Something's happening. All right, and so not the most exciting TV, but you know, there you go. So display case two, so I can see it downloaded. Sweet, okay. Let's take a look at what that looks like in Lightburn. So this is just a little read-only file, it pops up with it. It basically says the URL settings, and it was a file created by boxes.py, programmed by Florian Festi, and Lightburn output by Klaus Steinhammer. So thank you guys. And this is it, this is the whole piece. It is a top and a bottom. It's also going to be the four different sides of the rectangle. We could totally change this to make it have less joints, but it's fine for what we're doing. Again, we're trying to make this really simple and easy to show you guys without having to change all the numbers and understand them how quickly and easily you can make this. The only thing I'm going to do is the paper that came from the teacher said that there needs to be a hole in the top of the box that is five inches by two inches, and I'm just kind of guessing here. That one looks like it's close to six by two, so we'll just say six inches by two inches. And then we'll take that and we'll make sure that that's all centered. Okay, cool. Kind of put it back where it was. 
There you go. Nice. Okay, and so basically now that's going to be a place where a kid can come up and put candy in and Valentine's Day gift cards, whatever in there. So taking a look, all of that together took us less than three or four minutes to figure out and implement. And now we'll take it over to the cutter. So we're back. We just put this together. So you can see the file is behind us on the computer. And as you can see, it just is a six sided box. It's got four sides, a top and a bottom. The only additional work that we had to do was adding this rectangle in the center for people to actually put a Valentine's Day card or gift into it. So that's that. And then the other part of this is we have to decorate it. So the teacher wants us to decorate it with sentences or phrases. I'll let Evelyn tell you what she's decided to do. So the paint I got was from Lowe's. I got a color sample and we got strawberry moon color, which is like a really sweet strawberry or like bubble gum and I really like it so then you need a brush of course you might want to get a big brush because it's a big box but it's okay for like a little brush like design it like put like little words hearts or stars like whatever after that we're gonna take the extra wood that we had that was donated by H&H &H Creations Tampa and we're gonna take that and make some stars and hearts and different designs and put it on there and make it look really cool so here we go All right, everyone, so we just finished painting the box. It is now nice and dry. We've given it a little break to get ready to add our next step. Evelyn, tell them what you want to add. I want to add something that says, Happy Valentine's Day with little hearts next to it and little stars. Too. Yep. And like little lollipops because you give out candies to people. And so to do that, we're gonna use 1 8 white MDF from h, h Creations Tampa. It was donated to us, so we appreciate that. And we're going to take this and turn it into stars and hearts and the words Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, and lollipops. And we might use negative space, we might use the positive space of that cut. We'll see how it works out. So let's look at how we design that real quick. All right, and so before we get going with that, we're gonna have Evelyn use our nice little tape measure to measure the length and the height of this because that's what we're teaching her and showing her when you do crafting, measurements are important. So take this to the end, put the line there. We're gonna go all the way to here. What's the number here at the end? 19. 19 inches. Okay, so it's 19 inches long ways. Okay, and then stop right there. Take that line down. About 12 inches? Yeah. So 12 by 19 is what we've got here. And we have a couple sheets of this, so we'll be able to make plenty of stuff. Also, one more thing that we're gonna do before we cut this, we're going to cover this with some new tape that we got from David Brown that he's come out with. And it is a new two-sided transfer tape that is really cost-effective, and we'll include a link to that below. But basically, he's coming out with a new thing that's gonna help everything, we hope. So here we go. The first thing we're gonna do is some hearts. So basically I went online, I searched for a heart SVG black and white. This popped up pretty quick and easy. So we're gonna right click, we're gonna trace image. And by the way, I know this is kind of basic stuff, but there's actually people who are asking me about this this week. So one thing to take a look at, if we were gonna try to cut this right now, it really wouldn't work because there's the line cut and then there's the image that would just be raster engraved, which would just look like a newspaper image. So instead we are going to right click, trace image, and we're gonna leave delete image after trace there. And now this we're going to mark as one of our black items. So it's gonna be zero, zero layer. But now we want to change it. Let's make it pink for hearts. Oh, and it's got the same value for the line as our cut order. And so basically what's gonna happen is we're going to take this and we really don't need it filled, so that's fine. But what Evelyn and I were talking about is this is actually kind of neat because we can take this and since it already has two lines, we can resize it instead of 3.7, maybe 3.25. What's nice is this will actually be two hearts that get cut out at once. Okay, let's make it a little bit thicker. So let's just do three. So we probably should have 
two colors here. So we will make this black on the inside and then pink on the outside. And so what that means is this would be a white layer and then it would be empty on the inside and this would be a solid layer. And so that way we're getting some use out of like positive and negative space. We'll even do a copy of this. Click here, we'll hit paste and we'll make this one actually like two. So now we got three hearts. They're all gonna be kind of equidistant in shape and size. So we got some big ones, some little ones, some small ones. It'll be really fun. That way what happens is we don't have the box get covered in white and you'll actually have white with pink working together and that's kind of what you wanted, right? Yes. Okay, so it looks good. But what we will have to make sure is that we have the right things underneath to support it when we cut it. Otherwise, things are gonna go haywire really fast. And we'll actually, we'll change this to a third. And so we'll kind of copy this over here for pasting. But what we'll do is we'll hit the center align and then we're gonna combine that so it's one group. But just to show you guys, what that means is this would be something that's completely full of white. This would be like an outlined heart that you can put on corners. We could put on the sides and edges. And so that's one of those things that we could make really cute. The bottom, we're not gonna engrave. But on the sides, it would make it really easy to kind of have something cute. And then we've got the even bigger one if we wanted to. So there you go. We could do something like that. All right, so on to stars. Okay, so after a little bit of design work, we went online and we found a picture of the heart like we already just talked about. We did the star and we also found a lollipop. So those three things, literally what we're gonna do is basically create these items that fit within each other so that we get some positive and negative space. And also it's just not as boring. You'll see what we mean if you're someone who's not a project minded person, but basically we'll have some outlines of stars and we'll have some fully enclosed saturated stars that'll all be white because we're trying to just make this not just be pink but also save us from having to do a whole lot of painting and then one thing that's really cool is Evelyn her favorite candy is a lollipop so we found this lollipop SVG online for free and then we copied and pasted it in and we did the same thing for all three of these we literally just went through and found the design that we wanted to use we copied and pasted the image here and then we traced the image and basically created these. So we've already kind of put together the box real quick so we can show you guys what it's gonna look like. And just like with any customer, you wanna make sure that you go over the product. So tell us what do you think. I really like it. Okay, good. The other thing too that we did was we came down here, we put Happy Valentine's Day on here. So side one is going to have Happy Valentine's Day. We've got the stars and the lollipops on the ends. And then we're going to have the hearts or at least what they're close to looking like over on the side. Also, she wants to put Evelyn's mailbox on here. So we know that this is eight by 12 inches long. So we're gonna come up here to the width and change it to eight and same thing. Then what's nice is we'll hit our right arrow to rotate it 90 degrees, rotate it 90 degrees. And so then we put them all in together and we're gonna hit line H center. And so we'll bundle that together and then we'll just move it up a little bit to align it with where it was. And so now this is basically a project ready file where all we'd have to do is come in and change maybe the person's name and or change some of the different designs, but pretty easy, ready to go. So we are now gonna go laser cut the letters and the shapes and then we're gonna apply them. We've already got the adhesive applied to the back of the wood beforehand. And so that should make things easier when you go to put this together. So here we go. So we just finished cutting the letters and now we're gonna put them on the box. So really quickly, just to show you guys, everything did cut out very nicely. And what we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna use for her name and for the mailbox and happy Valentine's Day we're gonna use the actual cutout, what's left over, to put onto the box. Smarter move, if I was gonna do this again, would be to cut the things out so that I could just put them on there real quick. But this is still very easily doable. But the nice thing is I should be able to lift this off. Yep, there you go. Ta-da! And so it's nice and level and pretty square. And then we'll put mailbox on there and we'll show you the finished product in just a minute. So just to show you guys how this got put together, what I did was use the cutout to basically create a stencil like we talked about before. And after putting Evelyn's in there, again, I would have cut this out as a square, so it would have made it easier. We lost the L and had to search for it, so we found it. Evelyn was really excited, and so I made sure to let her place all of the different items, and I cleaned them up with a little alcohol swab here because it had a little bit of yellowing, and that's okay. Quick swipe with the alcohol swab, and everything looked good. And so then we put the lollipop on here, which looks really cool, and so everything's coming together. We had a quick discussion about making sure we had happy Valentines, and so the one thing you'll notice here is that I used some blue tape to make sure that it stayed in place 
And what you see is I was looking for something to push this stuff down and pretty quickly I realized I didn't have anything that was good. So I just snapped the end of a pencil off and used the blunt end of a pencil to push these in. And one thing I'll tell you is again, really cool to use the stencil. And when you do, you'll notice that I pick it up, the H is stuck, no problem, push it down and take a second to clean it up and voila, the box is done. Looks great. So hey guys, we are back. We just finished putting this thing back together. It was a lot of work to make sure that she got it the way she wanted to, but I'm really proud of you. So I'm really proud of you because you took it from a piece of paper in your brain to making it real. So I'm very proud of you, I love you. Love you too. Okay, so real quick, Evelyn, tell us about your box. What do we do? So first we cut out the words and then the shapes, and then we put them on there, we took off the paper so it's sticky so don't keep on slamming it on and then we polished it because it was kind of like um, it was a little brownish. bit of burning yeah yeah so like oh look at my burning box so it was really fun and it took lots of peeling off paper i can tell you that much yeah but the nice thing is if we had to do this differently it would have taken forever so this still only took us about 40 minutes of cutting then peeling and then using the different pieces of the board to actually put it together. So really quickly, Evelyn, tell us, what do you think? As someone who is eight years old, was it exciting to do? How'd you feel while you did the project? It was really fun to do because I've never ever done a project like this. Because in first grade, I've always just glued and cut things and it always just spilled everywhere. So it was really fun to make this and I felt really happy, but kind of when we were getting to the end, I felt really sad because I accidentally messed up because I wanted Happy Valentine's to be like right here, but instead it ended up right there. So I felt pretty sad, but I got it. Yep, we had some tears, but the good news is, yeah, it's okay. Honestly, I'm glad because it showed her resilience and her excitement to complete this. What happened was she got so excited to put all the pieces together that she forgot where some of the stuff was gonna go. But what was really nice is we had a chat about it. We said, that's okay. The only person who's gonna know is you when you go to school, and that's okay because people are gonna be so excited about how nice it looks that that's all right. And sometimes things don't go perfectly to plan, and that's okay too. When you guys know that accidents happen, but sometimes they're happy accidents, I think it looks really cool because because Evelyn is a star. I love her. She's got lollipops. She's got Happy Valentine's Day. There's hearts on this thing. There's really no bad side to this. And so you should be really proud. Yep. High five. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Yeah.